Hey guys, it's Game Boy 3800 here once again, and two old computers. Still in the spare room. Um, fun fact, as of now, all like the last ten, maybe seven videos I've uploaded within the week have not been uploaded yet. As of the time of this recording. Why? Because I've been messing around with this new phone I got. HTC One. Why did I get that over the S4? Better camera in dark light. And seeing how this house of mine always seems to have shoddy lighting conditions, that's always a good thing for me, so yay. But we're not on that, we're on the standard um, DSLR thing I have going on right now. Camcorder, I guess you could say it is. But yes, we have two very similar yet very different Okay, screw that. They're not similar at all, but they both have the same processor and the same operating system. So that is that. But one's for network maintenance and the other's for your rich businessman. We're just here to figure out, I guess, which one is better, since they're both equally rare. But they're worth what's on them and all that good stuff. So this here is the HP Internet Advisors. Um, I think it's either 21 or 01B or 2301J, something like that. It's old. And this here, you've seen it many times before. You've seen that probably once. But you've seen this many times before by me. I don't know if by anyone else, but... This is a Toshiba T6600C, which was actually a request some time ago. I, I said I would get onto it, and then I'm getting onto it. I keep my word 50% of the time. But yes, I guess the first step is to go over um, what's on them. So first up on the T66 floppy CD. This could also be used as, I don't know, on off switch here. That's obviously quite important. And here's where you have your, come on, really? And here's where you have your um, PC card things. This can take two full length ISA boards that cannot. And we have some, some venting here, holes here, a fan's here but nothing's there, I don't know why that's there. On the back, power, quite important. So you have your mouse, you have keyboard, monitor, serial, printer, some sort of SCSI, and then a whole slew of audio ports. A nice little flip up cover. On this side, we have our impossible to get PCMCIA cards. Yes. And then we finally get to our memory ex expansions on the side. This has, I believe, 24 megabytes of RAM, extra RAM, bringing it up to 32, I think, total. One is 8, the other is 12 or something like that. I don't know, but it all adds up to 24 or something like that. And then finally, on the front, we have a handle. Oh, yeah, and the speakers. That was quite important. Trivia, this was the first laptop to, uh, to have proper built-in speakers. Yes. And then you have a keyboard that's obviously quite important, too. Removable, very handy. 
I'll be, or at least I think it's very, very handy for this video in particular because then I can show you from a distance. Hinges are very, very good anymore. So I guess now I get onto that HP. They both have handles. This is obviously not as high tech, but they both have handles. This one also has a docking bay on it. So you have a serial port here, which also I have a little mouse adapter because I don't have a very good serial, serial mouse. Monitor, parallel, modem. This is a external cable thing, pod cable apparently. Yes. Re regulator things. I have no idea what they are. I'm not into networking stuff. I just got this because of the operating system. A port. Yeah, there's an older Ethernet style port. Newer Ethernet style ports. And a serial port, which is apparently a token, token ring, ring thing. You have a pop-out mouse here, floppy disk drive here, PCMCA here, some long parallel port along with another phone line, and then you have this thing of audio and cables and stuff. Removable. And from what I've seen, this little expansion card is quite expensive. So I guess the next thing to do is turn them on. Get back to you when they fully load up. I lied. I wanted to show you how fast they boot up, which one would win, and give you a better camera angle. I guess give this one a one second advantage. That and the original mouse they had for the Internet Advisor um, didn't seem to work. You see that or the serial, serial port's bad. And apparently the one with more RAM is getting it done. And the HP Internet Advisor seems to have gotten up quicker. I guess that's because it's got less to do. Because it's just got the base installation of Windows 95 and some network analyzing tools. But I've never used a mouse on this before, really. I've used it on the Windows 3.1 HP Internet Advisor I had before, but never on this. And the other one's still taking its time. As you can probably tell, they're both very, very loud. Um, the HP has one small fan, and it's got to rotate fast to get enough air through. So we wait for that thing. Load up. It's got programs to load up too. I'm going to check and see what's in the programs file. Web CD viewer. There's the old Windows 95. Modern Age Books on the HP. It's got Advisor. Adobe Acrobat. Nothing else. You know, it looks like the receivers. Load it up, it's got a long way to go. Here it's got not only a CD in it, it's got Norton utilities or show system stats and stuff. You can probably already tell, but the Toshiba is a lot brighter, the screen is, than the HP. 
And now I'm using for the HP Microsoft Digital. Yay. And Windows 25 is still not done loading. And because I'm using the Easy Ball, that means no right click, it's only got one button. It's like using an Apple computer, haha. <laughs> There's this old joke going around about Macs, how they have, used to have like one button, now they have none, it's just a, just a touchpad button. But how they used to have one button, it's like, this guy says, I prefer having one button. So his, so his friends go out, steal this car, and remove both the e-brake and the parking brake, so that he only had the gas pedal, only one pedal. Uh -huh. And receiver is still not done loading. It's got the CDI, CDI tag on it. I think it's still in there anyways. And the Norton utilities thing. HP is just kind of cruising here. Come on, receiver, you can do it. This is quite boring. Is it done loading? It is LB. Yeah, it is done loading. Fantastic. Jerks. But where's the CD? Okay, so probably turn this all the way down so I don't get sued. That was Greatest Battle Music. I totally forget the name of it. Yep, totally forget. I'll we'll show you actually what else I have on a CD. I actually brought this computer to school one day. And just to demonstrate it. But now that this is done, loading up, I can show you what's on here because that's what I really wanted to show you on this. The HP just has the default stuff with nothing really loaded. Programs. It's really got nothing on it other than the Internet Advisor analysis stuff. So shut down. Yep. Now this will say safe to turn off. Never. It never will say it's safe to turn off. So just gotta wait for the hard drive to stop spinning or stop reading. Maybe we'll show it, say if they shut down, but 
it normally takes forever, so after that, after the next one, let's say, it will be shut down. Okay, three, two, one, go. That's done. Now we can give our full attention to the Toshiba. That's what I wanted to show you anyways, really. Well, it's what someone wanted to see. I would say your name, but I have no idea how to pronounce your last name. First name's Peter. So, I'm the Toshiba. Just giving me the best angle. Since I don't plan on recording this again. Now for programs, it's got a lot. AAA trip planner, many accessories, but just basic stuff. Apparently whoever had this before had a SCSI adapter and a program for it. No idea how you pronounce that. Or that desktop toys. Let's find out what that is. Just probably just turns your desktop into a playground or something. Let's find out what Norton says the specs are. It's basically the modern task manager. Not much space is free. Oh, 100 megs with space left on it. Still waiting for you to load. Not getting any real CPU usage. Oh, we wait. Wait, why can't load it up? They had to click it. That's apparently still trying to load up. Oh. Old school deviant art? That's what it looks like. Oh, I see. It's, this thing is not a program kind of like that. Space cruiser attack. What is that? Oh, this little thing of games and stuff. Apparently this was some kids thing or something. That's a loading thing, I guess. And right click. Apparently, oh, it's it's controlling like asteroids. Right, twenty six hundred. Fun little toy. The real question is, how do you get out of it? No jet booster sound.
I do get out of this? I would guess off this floor. Whoa. What's control? Ah, nothing. I see. Escapes the old thing to do. Sadly, can you break the screen? different things. I guess we're just seeing how much we could destroy this desktop. Uh, oh, I see. That's what we're doing. Each one controls a different thing. What? So if the first one was a machine gun, or the second one was shot. What is that? Oof. Flame thrower. That's nice. thing at the bottom now. What is this? I'll escape this as soon as I find out what this little guy is. Because I'm sure you're just as curious. No idea. CPU was at a hundred percent. Now it's going back down. Programs. This exit some apparently college guide. Fireworks. Communication. Oh, facts works, my bad. 
It was just 4th of July, so still, still thinking about that. Land and antivirus, I guess. I.e., haha. Microsoft Bob. That's what I wanted to show you, but I'll show you that last. Home CD player. More movie editing stuff. Backup and stuff. Microsoft Works. Mouse software. Norton. CD thing. Syria. 3D Ultra Pinball 2. What? Oh, it's a game thing. Quick time for Windows. That's the thing that needs an update there. 1995 GMA thing. Toshiba Card Manager. Utilities. Windows Sound System. And then standard stuff there. Okay, Microsoft Power it is. Now, I've ever had this before had a password for it, so I can't access everything, but you'll get the point. Here it is, the infamous Microsoft Bob. The extremely overpriced thing. Can I zoom in on that a little bit more? Yep, yay. So this really simplified your computer. And didn't do much of anything. Other than make it seem like a big child's toy. Geo Safari, no idea what that is. Bob Household Manager, I think that's the thing that's locked. This is Financial Guide, <laughs> no thanks. Checkbook. That's Mail. Address Book. That's just some decoration. Calendar says it's January 1st. Time says it's close to midnight. It's actually not bad. It's closer to 6. It says, why is, is it so dark? Wait a second. Here. It's sunrise or sunset thing. It's pitch black here. What country do you live in? Fire. Mm. The dog is kind of like the Windows XP shorts dog, I guess you could say. At the house manager, I think it's password protected. Can't say though. Version 1.0. Dog's happy, yay. Auto information, cleaning, collections, gifts, house maintenance. What is it? Literally just. Uh, really, is this just a. Thing. Like for the house of Microsoft Bob, really? Did I click on the chair? Probably not. Armchair. Decorative object. Address book, no. Go 
Okay. Mouse hole. Family room, that's what we're in now. I guess public study and let's move. This is the first time I've ever actually actually looked at Microsoft Bob. I had it open before, but I was just seeing if it was blue screen the system, as it did many times on other old systems. And this is household manager. It's got all the same stuff, but just a different room. Yeah, I get it. I can set an alarm there. I guess that's Microsoft Bob. Um, there's not much else to do without really a password. Just a default room, I guess. How do you go from jumping, jumping to the right to jumping to the left again? What do you, what did you accomplish? I guess start go so far for Bob. Go so far by you can't see that at all. Educational insights. Let's click OK because that's the only option we got. Oh. Um. Okay. And is it just a little safari game? Yeah, some guy named John had it before. We'll just stay as the guest. Oh, I got it. It's a survey thing. Let's say 99 seconds for a question. <coughs> We're making it easy. Okay, ready? I can talk. Why weren't you talking before? What? You jerk. I bet this whole Microsoft Bob takes up most of the hard drive space. And I guess we're done. We don't need to play that. Not only because I know absolutely nothing about Africa, but because it seems quite boring. Let's exit this and shut down. Yes, shut out. I don't want you to leave. How many times have you had to say yes, please exit? Apparently seven. And that was using everything. Um, that's this version of Windows 95. It's also got MSN, IE6, which is the most insecure thing in the world. Literally, you can go onto any site. If it, if it has a keylogger, Go ahead. Another thing about keyloggers, did you know that in every um, version of Microsoft Windows since Windows 95, there's been an MSA file in it, supposedly tracking everything you do, and most likely has key keyloggers. So, 
If you're embarrassed to tell anyone about something you've searched up, the NSA already knows it. I'll let you go to sleep with that. Thanks, Game Boy Out. See you next time.